And what are you going to bring to the table? I don't know. My could... fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, well, guess who's not getting flowers? <laughs> The no, pussy's I mean, kind of useless without a dick. You want to really have a discussion about it. I don't know if you've it. noticed that. It's sort of a set. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you and your friends. I hope you're all listening it together. Fuck all of you. Look around the room. Look into each one of your eyes. I'm saying fuck all of you. You know what's funny? It's your friends are probably laughing at you right now. Going, you know what? She is, she is kind of a cunt. She really is like that. She does have a tendency. I know I shouldn't use that word, but I'm serious. She is. She can be real cunty sometimes. And she has a tendency to exaggerate things that aren't really happening. Guess. <laughs> oh, let's get into this shitstorm. Last week, I did a uh, – somebody asked me a question about why when a guy does something um, for his girlfriend, why is it never enough? And one of the one of the problems that uh, I've had and that this guy had last week is you you try to plan something that both you and your girlfriend can enjoy as your night out. And evidently, women have a problem when you pick something for the both of you to do that you as a guy will also enjoy. Evidently, from what I'm reading from these fucking psycho emails that I got this week, <laughs> is that if it's not 100% about them if you don't literally make a rose bowl fucking float sit them on it and then drag it down the street with your fucking teeth they feel that you got too much an enjoyment out of the evening so basically the evening was it was really your evening it was real look, look at the fucking wedding day you stand in it like an idiot and she makes this grand entrance she gets some one-of-a-kind dress and you you get a tuxedo that some fucking drunk's gonna wear at a 15-year anniversary for a bowling alley the next fucking week. You know what I mean? All right, let's listen to what the twats had to say this week. Um, all right, here's this, this, this wonderful girl. And I say she's wonderful because she actually admitted that she was a psycho because I actually emailed her and asked her, why do you only respond to male-female shit? And she sort of in her own little cute way admitted that she was a psycho, so I can't hate her. But anyways, this is her email. Hey, Bill. I love the clueless email questions from your male listeners. That's always a great way, by the way, to get the other people to listen to what you have to say. Right out of the gate, just start insulting them and talking down to them. Um, He said the uh, the guy was asking, why is it never enough to please a woman? Since he admit he, um, and then she's referring to his email. She says, since he admits he isn't home a lot, I'm guessing his wife slash girlfriend is doing all the dirty work for him. His laundry, cleaning, cooking, picking up after him, etc. All right, let's stop right there. She's doing all the dirty work. Let me ask you guys a question. Would you rather sit home doing laundry? First of all, laundry is the most overrated fucking chore ever. If you have laundry in your fucking apartment, what, what, that takes all of a minute to load the fucking thing in. And if you're not colorblind, it probably takes 45 seconds to load it in. And then you go back to watching The Price is Right cleaning, cooking, picking up after him. I would rather do that than do what this other guy's doing. This other guy is working like 60 hours a fucking week. Okay, let's let's move it. She's already made this assumption. Okay. Then she uh, then she wants him to spend some some time with him and he comes up with something that he wanted to do. Just like when you took your gr- girlfriend on that drive, all we heard about was the love story between you and the car. You were more excited about the car than anything. It was like you were on a date with the car and your girlfriend just came along for the ride. Listen back to even the tone in your voice when you were talking about it. It It's like you were talking about another woman. All right, you know something? I could sit around for 20 years trying to come up with the perfect paragraph to talk how insanely jealous and psychotic women are. Can you believe they're jealous about an inanimate object? She's talking about a car. It's almost like you were talking about another woman. Lady, you are out of your fucking mind. You're out of your fucking mind. And you're totally ignoring the fact that I took her out to dinner. I took her out to lunch. I took her up for a ride up to Pacific Coast Highway. People fly out here as a vacation to do that. A lot of couples do that. And I'll tell you right now, they don't do it in a Corvette convertible. They do it in like a fucking, whatever, a Buick Century. Really? I mean, it literally is never enough. You're actually proving this guy's point. This guy's point. So she says, my husband does the same damn thing. I'm like, what can we do for fun today slash tonight? And the only thing he can come up with are things that interest him. 
Well, what can you come up with? Can you come up with anything that doesn't interest yourself? You selfish cunt. You're doing the exact same fucking thing. And it's unbelievably selfish for you to sit here and, and, and have like a, a, a day that's for both of you. And it has to be 100% about you. Because what? You did some laundry? You lazy fuck. You're bas- you know what women are? They're basically, they're like adult children. That's what they are. They never get beyond. They're like juveniles. They're adults, but they still want to be treated like they're not of age. It's, it's just fucking boggles my goddamn mind. Um, she goes, I'd rather not do anything at all. I think it's selfish and, igno- and obnoxious that everything we do has to have his interests before mine. So everything that they do should have your interests before his? You, you're, yeah, these fucking broads. They're out of, see, this is, this is my thing. This is why you should, you should never get married. You should never be in a fucking relationship. You shouldn't because they just constantly fucking hack away at your goddamn knees and their idea of a relationship is that you do everything that they want to do. And right now, they're sitting there shaking their heads. They're going, no, no. Even the girl who wrote that is probably saying no. And there's a bunch of other women going like, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I went to a ping pong convention. They always come up with some stupid ass fucking example. And at the end of the fucking day, you have to do everything that they do. You have to do what the fuck they want to do or else they get mad. Okay? And that, my friend, is when jerking off comes into play. Because when you really break it down, what's the worst thing that they're going to do to you? They're not going to fuck you for a few days. Okay? And I got to be honest with you. Once you rub one out, who gives a fuck? And you have to have that clarity when your nuts are full. Do you know what I mean? Am I sounding like a fucking maniac here? I know I am. I know I am, but you, you, got, you got to hear what, the, what, this, what this, uh, this other woman wrote. And of course I don't have it in front of me because I'm an idiot. Where the fuck is it? All right. Um, I am writing to comment on the why it is never enough discussion on your last episode. episode. I'll start by saying that the guy that wrote in and to a slightly lesser extent you come off as total douches. Let me explain my view of the writer's the writer's situation. Oh, I guess the guy sent the email. Uh, and yes, I am one of those manipulative, selfish creatures known as women. Um, yeah, you are. What you called yourself out on it? And now I'm supposed, or was I supposed to like read that and be like, "Wow, I really am too harsh on women." See, you're like trying to manipulate me with your fucking bullshit already. Okay, here we go. Um, I don't remember the names, so I'll call him Bob and his wife Sally. Bob neglects Sally. A huge fuck up on Bob's part. Now let's let's get back to the to the detail here. He's neglecting her. What is he? Is he out at the bar chasing other women? This guy is out working his fucking ass off. This is the thing that women don't understand. What they don't understand is I I this is maybe I'm being a moron again or a douche as this lady says. I think a lot of women don't understand what it takes to be successful. What it takes is sacrifice, and in your twenties you have to work your fucking ass off. That's what I did for five years. My first five years in this fucking business, I had no girlfriend. I had no social life. I had nothing. All I was doing shows and, and fucking rubbing one out. That's what the fuck I did every goddamn day. I went to work. I, I was writing jokes at work. And at night, I got in a piece of shit car and I would sometimes drive to another fucking state. And you know why I had no girlfriend during that time? Because none of them could understand what I had to do to get where I am today. All of them were giving me shit. You're doing stand-up again tonight? Do you realize how many Richard Pryors are fucking working at a Home Depot or Jimi Hendrix because they hooked up with the wrong fucking twat who talked them out of their goddamn dream because they didn't want to hear it? Because they said you needed some sort of responsibility. This fucking guy is doing the right thing and she's calling him selfish. He's at work busting his ass trying to get ahead. So when he's 40, he's not a fucking loser. And he has, see, and they all want the fucking house. They all want it fucking yesterday, but they don't want to get through the bullshit of it. They don't want to go through the bullshit of it where you, you actually have to uh, not see him for a little while because he's out working. So anyways, huge fuck up on his part, part to be uh, busting his goddamn ass. So he says, Bob decides to make it up to her by taking her to see your live show. She says, which is awesome. And a dinner, which is pretty standard. This is how out of control women are. She's getting a free fucking meal. And they're so spoiled as a sex that she describes a free fucking meal as standard. Do you know what I have to do as a man to get a free meal? I have to like win like a fucking 
like a radio contest. You know, I got to call up this radio station and imitate the local sports guy. And I have to beat out all these other fucking guys who are... I haven't had a free meal since I was like eight years old. My parents took me to McDonald's or whatever, like maybe 13, 14. Women are so fucking spoiled that this guy is busting his ass at work. That's viewed as selfish. He's buying this girl a free dinner and it's viewed as standard. They're out of their fucking mind. So anyway, she goes, Sally basically tells her friends who may or may not know that Bob has been fucking up. Once again, Bob is fucking up because he's busting his ass at work. So when they're 40, they're going to be on easy street. He's fucking up right now. Um, These same bitches who make you fucking, you know, not chase your dream, leave you when you're 38 because you're a fucking loser. Right? All right. I love generalizing. It really gets these twats, cunt hairs in a fucking... Anyway, I can't even finish that sentence. That was so evil. All right, let's (laughs) let's plow ahead. Um who may or may not know that Bob has been fucking up, that this night out is not what she had in mind, but she is taking what she can get, playing the victim. Oh, the poor baby. She's taking what she got a free meal. She's just taking what she can get. And she's getting a show to come out to my show, one of the best fucking comedians in the country. You like that? I'm talking shit. It's football Sunday. And I'm a, plus I'm reading the Ric Flair, the best comic on the biggest hill. Um, anyways, uh, Bob gets upset and determines that no one has ever or will ever be able to please any female. Code for why should he even make an effort to make his wife happy in their marriage. That's not code for that. That's how you read into it. You've never met Bob. You've made all kinds of assumptions here. Poor, poor Bob. Bob's douchery becomes a crystal becomes crystal clear when he when he says something to the effect of this whole night out was supposed to be about her. This is like this is classic male privilege wankery. But I realize this is hard for you and Bob to see, so I'm here to help. Um, I'll try to make it simple. When you piss off your wife, bringing her along to a show you already wanted to go to and that she is only mildly interested in, then being a little scrotum about it when she is underwhelmed by the fact that you are actually making an effort to go out with her, which is what you should have been doing as a matter of course, is not the way to go. Oh, my God. I mean, the arrogance in this. I love people who are arrogant and they're calling you out for being arrogant. Bringing her to a show. Do you understand? Like, I'm going to stop being a jerk here because maybe I can actually convince a couple women. Do you understand what it takes? This is actually, you know, I've been generalizing. There are women out there who understand what it takes to become successful. And I guarantee you most of them are not in relationships. And they have a difficult time being in relationships. You know? Because the guy they're with wants to go home and play fucking footsie or wants her around. And doesn't understand that these are the years where she has to bust her ass to get where the fuck she's going to be. You know? So, lady, both of you guys are 100% wrong. I could see if this guy was out drinking with his buddies, if this guy was out fucking around on her, or if he was just sitting there staring at the TV watching football and not paying attention to her when he brings her out. Yeah, then I could see that he should have some sort of mini all about you wedding day for her. Okay, but if this guy is busting his ass at fucking work, okay, he's not going out having a good time either. So he should be allowed to have some sort of enjoyment. You know, understand? He should be able to enjoy some of the day, some of the night also. And this is another thing that you haven't even brought up. How much of the rent do you think he's fucking paying? I'd be willing to bet that he's paying more than she is. A lot of guys are in that situation too when you get this, uh, the adult child version of a fucking woman. I'm telling you. You women, I'm telling you, the two who wrote in, you're way out of line on this one. I'm not even trying to be funny right now. You're 100% in the fucking wrong here. You're being selfish, beyond fucking selfish. This guy is at work. He's busting his ass trying to get ahead. Do you think this guy wants to fucking work 60 hours a week? Nobody dreams about doing that. Why do you think he's doing that? He's trying to become successful. You know, so the next time you're, you know, like I said, If this guy had been fucking around or if this guy had been sitting there watching, you know, sports and not paying attention to you and hadn't given you a compliment since you could fucking remember. Yeah, then I could understand. You know what I mean? Taking you to the whatever the fuck you wanted to go to. But for you to sit there and this guy spends his hard earned fucking money, takes you out to dinner. okay? which you got to understand is not standard. Okay, in your how, how fucking spoiled are you that you think that that is, sta- is standard? I got the fucking hiccups here. I'm so goddamn upset. 
Um, you guys are you guys are 100 wrong. And if any of you broads out there want to want to try to come out and support these two girls, I mean, go for it because I don't see how they're wrong. This guy did nothing wrong. He took her out to go see a show. It's just you know what? Stand up comedy is not respected. It isn't. If he took you out to see a Broadway show or a fucking musical or or, or I guess that's the same thing. I don't know what. I guess if he took you out for dinner in a movie. I love how like like guys always have to show some sort of imagination. It's standard. It was just imagination. We like surprises. And it's like, when was the last time your girl actually showed any fucking imagination when they got you a shirt, you know, or some sports DVD? You know, do they ever really show any sort of fucking imagination? I'll tell you who does. My girl, she actually showed some imagination one year. When I first met her, I, uh, I was playing drums, you know. She knew I was into drums. She knew I loved them, and she actually got me this, this pair of drums. She got me a pair of drumsticks, and we'd only been going on for like a month, so there was like that thing. You can't get a really huge gift, but you got to get them some. She got me a pair of drumsticks, and she had my, my initials engraved in them. I never even used them. I thought it was really – it was unique. It was loving. It, you know, it didn't cost her that much money, and it was totally fucking cool. I wouldn't be like, well, you know, it's – you got to do that every birthday, you know? Surprise me. Like you did with the drumsticks, except spend a ton of fucking money too, you know? I don't even know if that even fucking... I think I started to make one point and then I made another one in that one. I'm so fucking annoyed by these these women. They, they, they're out of their fucking minds. You're out of your fucking minds. Okay? If the guy who wrote that email last week, don't listen to these fucking twats, all right? You bu- you're out there. You're busting your goddamn ass. You have to sit down and you have to explain to your wife or your girlfriend, or whatever the fuck she is, what it takes to become successful. Because I'm telling you, you understand what it is. You're doing what everybody else did in their 20s. All those people out there, you know, the broads with the tramp stamps and the guys with the tribal band tattoo who are out there doing keg stands and fucking everything that moves, doing their best to catch herpes every fucking weekend. Those people, they they wonder what happens. When they get to their 30s and their 40s, they wonder what the fuck happened. You know, and they're looking at you like you're a shithead. You know, now the payoff is is usually when you become successful, you end up renting a Corvette at 41, <laughs> having sort of a mini midlife crisis. But I'm telling you, I'd rather be me than those other fucking dudes. I really would. So you really need to explain to this woman who looks at you busting your ass as neglect, as as being selfish. It's just beyond me. It's fucking beyond. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing as a man is a man is supposed to work and he's supposed to provide for his family. And what you are doing is you are laying the groundwork for you to do that as best as you possibly can. And for someone to say that that is selfish is just fucking beyond me. Okay, let me ask you this. When you went out that night, how fucking tired were you? How many times did you yawn from working all fucking week? You know what I mean? You know, aren't you allowed to go out and have a good time with your girlfriend with a little bit of shit that she enjoys, a little bit of stuff that, that you enjoy? Isn't that like a fucking relationship? I mean, am I out of my fucking mind here? I, I kind of feeling like no matter what I say, I'm, you're just going to shit all over me. No, I'm not. A very, I'm no, a I'm very not. nice thing. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, nice well, I'm not going to shit have, all over have, you, have, but it did have, sound, it's not about me getting ready Because everything about goes into your early. brain like a fucking minus sign. That's what it is. It's like... Thank you. Two negatives equal another negative. It's like it doesn't even mathematically make sense. That was a fucking wonderful thing that, you know, I'm giving you time. Hypothetically, I'm giving you time to get ready. I don't need What do you want to do? You want to put it up? You want to blow it out? I'm fucking sitting here. Let me know when we're He's arguing the wrong thing. No, I'm on his side. I know you are. I know this. I knew this was going to happen. What, giving you more time to get ready? I don't need more time to get ready. I don't know. I'm not going to fucking say it again. Oh, yes, you do. I don't need more time to get ready. I need for him to not leave so early. That's. You need to. Stop catastrophizing, thinking that's the Stop fucking what? catastrophizing. You, like it's a, oh, catastrophizing. You, yeah, like you, like you literally. See, it literally, as I'm giving him advice, she's still giving me shit. I know. You know I, I, mean? it's I, like I didn't, I didn't every hear day, the every word. day. I just needed yeah. to, uh, I just needed to clarify. It's this. It's, it's every just, day. It's like a fucking mitt you know in your face. Is? Constant. Because she sees me constant. as constant. 
She sees me I as her. I feel bad for you, Rich. What's that? I feel bad for you. So this is like seriously. This is... <laughs> yeah, because the last two podcasts they were on your side, but now he. No, can I re- knew. I knew it. Yeah, we won't make yeah, because she has she has a certain idea of who I am because of my act never really having hung out with me. So that's basically yeah. what it is. Well, here's the thing with her. That's bullshit. Don't put Where that on me. Other, I think other, you're, other I than think a you, green you, room, you don't know shit about me. I, I don't. You don't. I might not know shit about you. That's well, true. You. But uh, I have talked to you on many occasions. Let's let's. No, here this is. I'm just saying it. Yeah, you. Ju- it's it's. You're, yeah, you're a bit of a buzzsaw. Yeah, hmm. I and I love how you 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 call her out, but the other guys weren't calling her out, and that's why you're kind of falling apart. And you knew this was going to happen. I'm not falling. Uh, Emma, do I seem like I'm falling? Oh, no, apart. not falling apart. You're just, you know, you're yeah. you're, you're being aggressive. So tone it down. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that there's a. <laughs> These two comedians here, these two men that I've got to, I better, yeah. Do you guys want something to drink? Do you want something? How? No, wait, no, no, no. Really? The sexist card? What the fuck was sexist there? Jesus well, I don't Christ. see anyone else. You get back in a corner and you throw your clam on the table down. and you get the fucking Oprah applause break? What in the fuck was sexist about that? And you. You did the hands over the head like Springsteen just finished the fucking. Un- Fucking believable. <laughs> the fucking clam card in 2014 is so fucking that's how, over that's fucking. Shut the fuck up. Jesus fucking card. Christ. <laughs> Too many, I don't think there's enough women on this podcast. We should have more women in it. Just fucking oh start God. one. Just start one and be funny and quit your fucking bitching. <laughs> I'm so fucking sick of that shit. Do you think women are funny? Yeah. Uh, women aren't unbelievable. Funny. I'm yeah, fucking fucking right. believable with that well, shit. Let's move on with. No, I, I feel like that you brought up a good point, which is you are filled with anger. <laughs> um, but he's helping out. And that might be one of the issues. No, no, we I'm have. Not, I, I openly admit that I, I have major anger issues, yeah. without a doubt. But, but aside the board, from that, that was not a sex. Besides women. from that, that was yeah. not a sexist moment. There was nothing remotely sexist about that. You got backed into a corner and you threw out the "give me an applause break" line, and it fucking works every time. And it I gains was told this to tone it down, and so of, I of, did of make a joke shit. about it. And I'll tell you what, this, this. I apologize. I know that's not cool to do as a comedian, but I, I'll do it here. Well, as a Jew, uh, <laughs> I can't see that. Did, I don't, can't even tell if that was serious or not. <laughs> but they pretend like they want your opinion. They just want you to agree with them. They'll just be like, hey, what do you want to do for dinner tonight? What do you want to do? Oh, I, I, was, well, you get Ita- you know, I, I want to get Italian. Really? <laughs> I and then, and then it fucking like comes. It, 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 it comes. It, does. If I could finish. I'm sorry. It <laughs> comes. It fucking comes around. And you just end up getting what they get. And you just. It just. I already feel myself doing that. I already feel myself just being like, it's not worth it. 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 You can say whatever well, you want yeah. to make. Can this I just good. make a suggestion? Why don't you just come home with Italian, <laughs> and then maybe some flowers. And what are you gonna bring to the table? I don't know. My keep... fucking pussy. <laughs> Um, well, uh, well, guess who's not getting flowers? <laughs> <laughs> the no, pussy's I mean, kind of useless without a dick. I don't know if you've it. noticed that. Sort of a set. 